Okay, another day. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not doing too good right now. Uh, I fell off of my Segway last night. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the only thing I really hurt was my left quadricep. No, hamstring. Hamstring, my left hamstring. Uh, so, I, mean, I think it's just ruptured or something. And it was funny. I mean, I, I got so dang good at the uh, at that damn thing. I, I got to just sit there and just like control it. I didn't even know where where I was going. If I wanted to go, you know, this speed, I just knew the exact amount. My feet were on, um, getting better. My calves were getting better, so I wasn't tiring out as much. Um, I kind of had could get up and down some things that I couldn't before. I even been over some speed bumps and stuff. My, it was like going good. It's like, I want to go back, I go back. How did I do it? But the only thing I even had to think about anymore was turning left and right. And that's kind of how it happened last night. So I'm going around the corner, I'm just doing it, everything, you know, it's really cool. Uh, light is on, cause you know, it's got little front lights. And I am making a turn to come back and I heard some kids yelling. So I don't know if they saw me and started yelling or if they were yelling at something else. All I know is I did one of these little numbers, lost my balance and came off. Now I didn't fall down. It's just, I put my foot down off of it, my left foot. And it was like, pop. So um, I'm surprised I was actually able to get to sleep last night. It was painful as hell last night during my Spanish lesson. Even the instructor was like, I can cancel it. It won't count against you, I'll cancel it. And I'm like, no, no, we're gonna continue. For one thing, you know, a lot of these instructors and uh, no nice way to put it, third world countries. And if she cancels it, she doesn't get paid for that time. I I'll let it go, cause damn, five dollars. I think from what I read on the internet, they get paid five bucks for each class if there's one student. Uh, five bucks is five bucks. That doesn't mean shit here, but I mean, in South America, it can mean a lot cause average salary down there is like, you know, like, you know, four or 500 bucks a month. So that five bucks adds up like crazy. So I kept it going. Even at, well, at one point, it's like, you got enough. You get full credit. You, you can just stop. I'm like, nah, I'm going through this. I'm going to complete it. I'm a soldier. So anyway, I completed it last night. Just trying to get through today. My biggest concern is uh, got to take the dog down to the damn vet today. So wife gonna do that by herself cause I ain't leaving. My vi my next biggest concern is uh, we got that big luxury series coming up. And now this is what I was telling them. You can't depend on somebody because they have all these tech skills. I can't be running around setting up all this shit, this equipment and shit. Cause <laughs> what, what, what am I gonna do? I mean, I got to put up screens. I got to set out all kinds of stuff. Even if I brought my wife with me, I don't know how much I can get done. See, that's when they come, oh, we can broadcast. What we'll do is we'll bro and the more I show them how to do stuff, the more they think they can take advantage. I, I literally had to invent technologies to get this shit done. But, you know, they can come up with that. Oh, Eric can fig figure it out. Then I found like, uh, one on our last um, board meeting, I figured a way to get to back in the um, the MLS to get all the agents' numbers. I think shit was brilliant. I could steal fifteen thousand numbers in like an hour or something. She had been paying her VA in the Philippines like eleven bucks an hour, which is a ridiculous amount of money. Ridiculous. Never heard anybody, but she thinks it's cheap. It's like, man, you're just ruining this shit. Because first of all. I'm gonna get into a little tirade here, a little bit of side thing. You could actually destroy somebody by doing that. The same like I'm talking about them depending on somebody with a lot of tech skills. You can be destroyed with that. In this case, she's destroying that person. And here's why. Once somebody makes a certain amount of money, they don't wanna ever go back. And they continue to chase that amount, which may be completely unrealistic. And I've seen it over and over again. So if she pays that, um, I don't know if it's a girl or a guy, 11 bucks an hour, they're gonna continue to look for $11 an hour jobs. There are very few, if any, 
for a VA for 11 bucks an hour. The most I've seen anybody pay someone, that person actually has a management role, is anywhere from six to eight bucks an hour. And that person's like running big ass teams in the Philippines for somebody here. So no, but see they worked up into management. This isn't management, this is just regular VA shit. And uh, you know, I can't tell somebody how to spend their money. But anyway, getting back to it. I figured how to back in this. And she was talking about how like every week her VA uh, captures 500 names from the MLS. I know what, she, what the VA is doing. They doing this, they typing. I figured a way to steal the entire MLS in an hour. And I, I bring this up during our last meeting. And this is why I hate real estate agents and such. All I can do is fucking talk. And like, as soon as I mentioned, well, I got a way we can do is we can, uh, get into the MLS, grab all the, um, all the names. We can do this, this, and this. And she just starts, the person just starts talking. <laughs> Wouldn't let me talk again and, and talk about, I, I have to pay for this VA and this stuff. And I've already spent enough of my own money. I'm like, I'm just like, you're spending money to get 500 names a month, a, a week or month or whatever. The person's typing it. I know what they're doing. And they probably love it because they're getting 11 bucks an hour to do this cheap shit. But you can get it all done in an hour, but you didn't want to listen. You just cut me off and then started talking about what you're paying. If you listened, I could have saved your ass thousands of dollars. But you know what? <clears throat> I let people do their shit. If it doesn't harm a, a child, I don't give a fuck. So I'll, I'm going to let them lose their money. I had a solution. I hate being a tech guy sometimes. Because I'm always inventing shit. New techniques. Anywho, uh, I'm going to end this one. Uh, well, I still am cognizant. Because last night, I couldn't even remember what I was saying in the Spanish lesson. I go like, did I just speak to you in English or Spanish? I can't remember. I'm in so much pain. Uh, so anyway, I was looking at this thing. This is one guy out here on, uh, uh, YouTube. He's a lawyer, Steve Leto. And I love watching his videos. And sometimes my other channel, I'll like, um, do reaction videos if he ever does something about real estate. Anyway, last night, I mean, not like this morning, he released a video and it really got me thinking about how everybody wants something. And it was about the car makers. Um, uh, even before, uh, COVID and stuff. Car makers had start, I think it was GM maybe, they had decided to come up with this new system where, you know, you go buy a car, you buy whatever options, or you can buy it fully loaded or whatever. They decided that they were going to put every option on every car. And then you just activate it later. Okay, so somebody then get the bright idea. Why don't we just make it a subscription model? And if you want heated seats or something like that, you got to pay 12 bucks a month for it. So now, you know, there's all this backlash. But I see what the dealers are doing. They effed up by trying to make it a subscription model. It should have just been, we're going to put every option on the car. If you want heated seats, when you order your car, you order it with heated seats. And we just turn the damn things on. Because they're not trying to source all these parts. They just put them all in there. And they... I think I read they would actually save a couple of thousand bucks per car just by putting everything in and then just activating what people want to buy. So now, like, I think it's New Jersey, not I think it's New Jersey. They're talking about outlawing that if a car comes with something, it has to be active. So in other words, everyone gets a fully loaded car and doesn't have to pay for it. What if GM, uh, the car companies go, OK, we're just going to send out fully loaded cars and you have to pay for a fully loaded car now. It's like people aren't thinking about this shit. Again, I blame the automakers on that part about trying to make it a subscription model. If it had stuck with the original intent was we're going to put heated seats and everything else in every single car. And if you want heated seats, when you order heated seats, we're going to turn them on. Matter of fact, can you imagine how great that is? Let's say you, um, you buy a car and then um, you get transferred to... New York State, upstate New York. Oh, shit, I bought the car in Miami. I didn't need heated seats. Now I need heated seats. Damn, guess what? I can go down to the dealership and turn that shit on. That is actually smart. I can turn that shit on later. 
the subscription model was the fuck up. All you got to do is just go like, oh, uh, what, what happens when you sell your car? Now it's at a used car dealership. Uh, you never activated the human, the um, heated seats, but they're going to transfer the car to Minnesota because cars travel around the damn country when they're put into the network like that. Oh, man, it doesn't have heated seats. Activate the heated seats. Makes sense. So freaking awesome. But once they're activated, they're there forever. This subscription model is where they fucked up. But even if they had done it the way it was originally intended, I still think somebody's going to fuck up and go like, I paid for the heated seats and they're not activating them. You didn't pay for shit. They're just putting them in there because they figured that it actually was cheaper to send the car fully loaded with the stuff inactive. And then whenever you order the car and you go like, I want the ABC package, they activate that package. But somebody had to go fuck up, figure they could make money forever. <sighs> but, you know, the point I'm talking about is deep down, these people know th what the deal is. If you want to outlaw subscriptions, I can see that. But just saying, if it comes in the car, you have to act, the, the deal, uh, manufacturer has to activate it. That's bullshit. They're trying, they're, they're doing, they're going for a cost saving measure. Because if you make the cars uniform and have every option in there, and then somebody doesn't want it, they don't activate it. They don't order it with that option. Right now, you order a car with options. You just order them and they turn the shit on. So anyway, um, yesterday I got a text from, I got some, I'm not sure I don't see the email, so I don't know where it popped up in my phone, but I got some uh, notifications from my insurance company and I did get one that said my uh, restoration claim was approved. So the restoration guy came out yesterday. Yeah, he was quick. He was there like five minutes. So uh, yeah. At least I get that done. I'm going to hope uh, before they start to work, I'm going to ask them if I'm allowed to pay the difference for stuff because what I want is, um, you know, like those uh, slide out cabinets. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, I just thought about that. For some odd reasons, like, um, you know, like, so this entire portion here, you know, all the stuff is out. Uh, this portion here, they did all kinds of stuff over here, took out the walls and everything. My wife put the, um, the shelves back in. He may not have counted that. Fuck. Oh, not the shelves, the drawers. He may not have counted that because she put the drawers back in. And he didn't look back there at the damage. Shit. <sighs> Got something on my face. Okay, we'll see. What I was going to say is, um, you know, like those rolled out shelves, I figured that, you know, since they're putting them in there, you know, a majority of it is labor and other shit. I mean, I figured ro going from regular shelving to roll out shelving, maybe a couple of hundred bucks, I'm hoping. So now I got to go deal with that one. Because she put the drawers back in. Shit. I didn't even think about it. I'm not going to say goodbye for 45 minutes. I'm out of here. <laughs>